Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Sailor Moon R movie to review and I got this really really fast actually. I think it was a week before release I got this and I don't know I have a lot to say about it <laughs> before I even open this thing. Um, as you know the movie came out in theaters and I did like a little bit of review of that and you guys can check that video out if you want but as for the presentation of the release on DVD and Blu-ray uh, we came out and saw this picture it was released I think it was first put out on Amazon I think somebody shared it on Amazon when I first saw it I thought it was really pretty but then as I looked at it more and more I kept seeing problems <laughs> it's like I'm not quite sure what they were doing exactly with this. Up to this point, we've been getting official uh, Japanese art for Crystal, and we've been getting Marco Albero's art for every one of the releases. This time, unfortunately, I don't know whose art this is, and I feel bad by critiquing their art because I don't know who this is. <laughs> and I know somebody drew this and somebody colored it. Um, a lot of people like it, but unfortunately for me, I just keep wondering what's going on with the expression. Each one of the characters have expressionless faces. First problem, they don't look like they're showing any emotion. They don't look like they're concerned. They're just like chilling out on the planet here <laughs> that they're supposed to be fighting, you know, the bad guys on. And, uh, and then their poses are kind of weird. They're looking... I don't know. I mean, can, I mean, can you just see what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know what's going on and who designed this image. It's just, it's just weird to me. And then you have Fiore back there looking at Tuxedo Mass. It doesn't seem like he's too concerned with life or nothing right now. And they got the crystal just kind of hovering up there at the top. And uh, it makes no sense. I mean, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. I know they tried to get the same design around the crystal that's on the official movie art, but if they were going to do that, they should have just gave us the official movie art. <laughs> My thoughts, anyways, because if you look at the Japanese official movie art, they're all in battle po poses. They're all ready to fight. Here, they're just chilling out. <laughs> they're just on this planet, like, yeah, and then thing that bothers me the most about this image as a whole is Sailor Venus. Sailor Venus down here, I don't know what kind of pose this is. It looks very uncomfortable. She looks like she's like almost in mid stand. Like she's like trying to get up off, off of the ground, but she's not on the ground. She's kind of hovering. I just don't understand. I just don't get this image at all. How this image came to be and how it was approved I just don't get it. I'll be honest with you. But just remember, guys, everything that gets made for Sailor Moon is approved by Toei Animation. <laughs> so you got to get mad at everybody. Everybody, <laughs> you need to get mad at everybody. Not Viz. I mean, not just Viz. You need to get mad at everybody that is responsible for Sailor Moon existing. <laughs> so just remember that. When you're like, oh, why, why is it like this? Or why does, you know, everybody approves it before it comes out. <laughs> so, unfortunately. But yeah, this this makes no sense. It's not, it's it's colorful and pretty from afar. It definitely is eye-catching. A lot of, lot of uh, colors to it. But yeah, the image makes no sense. So, But we still have this uh, motif around the edges that we get on each one of the Viz releases. There was also no pre-order bonus through right stuff for this, so I don't know what their uh, idea might be for the future releases, but for the movie, for this one, there was none. So there was no real need to go out and pre-order with right stuff um, if you wanted any exclusives, because there just there wasn't any. Now, I wasn't going to get mine through right stuff, but I decided to get it because I bought this from somebody off of eBay, and this is the pre-order card that they gave out during the LA premiere. Somebody sold it 
and they finally lowered it enough, they might be watching, hey, it was me. Because it was the only one I'd ever seen for sale. That was the only one. I don't know if there's any now. I haven't looked, so. Um, but they finally lowered it a little bit and made it a little bit more affordable because this actually had the code to pre-order the movie already paid for on the back. And this is what the back looks like. I'm going to write the code just because. I, it's already been redeemed, obviously, but I'm just going to do it anyways. But that is the back of the card. And where my finger is, obviously, is where the code is. But yeah, you can pre-order it with the card through Right Stuff. And that's why I got it so quickly and used Right Stuff. But you can probably find this uh, still on Amazon for pre-order. I don't know if they're shipping out yet, but I haven't heard anything other than the Right Stuff one. So... But yeah, on the back here, it's got the information for a 2-disc Blu-ray DVD combo. This does come out only in 1080p, so we have the wide screen on these, so not the full screen, unfortunately. Um, there's the English and Japanese stereo audio English subtitles, the makeup Sailor Guardian's featurette, which I'd never fully seen before until I watched the movie in theater, so that was kind of a treat. Um, the cast interview, and I think the cast interview is the same one that they showed in the theaters if you watch the dub, and the LA premiere, Q&A, and more. So, I don't know. The special features are not spectacular, <laughs> I guess. I think the cover <laughs> looks better being squished, because the DVD one, it has the logo up a little higher. And you can kind of see more of this image. <laughs> Just cover up more of it. But anyways, we'll uh, open this up and we'll take a closer look at the inside. So here's a nice close-up look before I take it out of the packaging of the cover. I'm sure most people have seen this that's interested in it. But yeah, not, not really a fan of it too much. But we'll get this opened. And I try to take my time opening these. That way I can preserve the little sticker so I can put it on back, on back on the box. There we go. All right, so it is pretty with the little prismatic motifs on there as usual. I do always like them. I'm take it out of here. And um, there's that cover again on the inside. <laughs> it's just not big fan of that. I mean, ugh, I don't know. I feel bad for the artists. I, I, I apologize to the artists for being so negative about it, but it, it does bother me just a tiny little bit. And then here on the back is the same. Oh, so this is the, this is the DVD here. And then this is the Blu-ray. And there's nothing in the back on there so I don't know if they're supposed to be or not but usually they always have something back here so I don't know. it's a pretty simple release I'd say nothing too spectacular to see another little thing that I got with this movie is the Sailor Moon Crystal part 2 ad here and this is a sticker which I thought was pretty cool usually they do just basic little cardboard cards but this is an actual pretty little sticker and I mentioned in my Sailor Moon Crystal Part 2 review that I was going to share something related to this image. And this is what it was. It's just a little ad sticker. It's really pretty. It does have order now for the Black Moon Arc, episodes 15 through 26. Really nice. But we'll pop in the discs and take a better look at the menus. So this is the Blu-ray menu for the R movie. And as you can tell, it looks a lot like the other ones for the classic anime. You got play, scene, setup, and extras at the bottom. You got the cutie moon rod as your little cursor and the crystal star is at the bottom so 
looks pretty nice. Here is the scenes. Oh, and this one's set up so you can just look at the scenes and go to the one you want. Whereas in the other ones you pick by episode, so you can actually click on where you want to go at in the movie, so that's kind of cool. And then you have setup. And there's your setup for English and Japanese. And then you have extras. And there's where you go for your makeup a Sailor Guardians featurette. The theatrical intro with the English cast, which was what we saw at the movie theater. 2017 Los Angeles premiere, gallery, trailer, and more trailers from Viz. So yeah, that is your menu for the film. Now I'll pop in the DVD one and we'll take a look at it next. So here is your DVD menu, and there's that Sailor Moon from the cover. <laughs> but uh, at least it's not the whole thing, I guess. But yeah, that's the Sailor Moon from the cover there. And then you got play, scenes, go scenes. So yeah, here's how you select your scene from the movie. So that's kind of interesting. And you got the key moon rod over there. And then set up. Kind of reminds me of the other DVDs. The crystal star there. And then you have your extras. Let's go to extras. Ooh. And <laughs> there's that image of the uh, crystal there. Uh, then we have uh, makeup, Sailor Guardians, and all that. So uh, you do get the theatrical intro with the English cast on here, so you can still view that and the makeup um, Sailor Guardians featurette, which is all that you saw when you got to see the English dub version of the movie in theater. So those are all still intact with this release. But yeah, this one's heavily drawn to that cover image. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at my final thoughts on this movie and uh, see where we're at. So what is my overall thoughts on this release? Um, I don't like the picture on the front. It's not Marco's work. I don't know whose work it is. Um, but I just don't like what's going on with them. I don't think it's really true to how awesome this movie is. It's one of my favorites, if not the favorite in the three movies that came out for Sailor Moon. But it is what it is, I'm afraid, so... Oh, I forgot to tell you, too, on the side here, there is the little crystal star up there. And the little motif that's on the discs around the side. But, yeah. Um, I loved the movie presentation. I thought it looked really good. Um, they definitely made the movie look newer. I, I love how it looks, and I can't wait to rewatch it again. And that's what the benefit is of owning it, so... Um, it's not all about the cover. It's mainly about the product itself. So I don't know. Let me let me <laughs> know in the comments, guys, what you think of this movie or the cover, or if you got it, if you decided not to get it, all that fun stuff. So um, yeah. But <laughs> I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye. <laughs>